Hello, my name is Halima Ferreira and I'm your chef today. I would like to teach you an easy recipe, my version of kushari, which is an Egyptian street food that you can make over Ramadan. The ingredients for this are some macaroni. I like to use baby macaroni, dark chickpeas, they're higher in protein, some vermicelli, a tomato sauce, which you can make the night before, very easy, passata and some spices. I'll talk you through that in a minute. Basmati rice, washed three times, and some green lentils. Over here, we have some olive oil. I've got some chicken stock, and then all the lovely spices that we get to put in. Let's get cooking. I'm going to grab my spoon. The hob is on. I've got it on a medium heat. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan. I'm then going to take our bay leaf and cinnamon stick. Always make sure your oil is nice and warm because we want to toast our spices. This will also depend on the sort of stove you have. Induction seem to be much stronger and the heat comes up a lot faster. If you have gas, I'd always make sure it's on medium heat so the spices don't burn. What I like to do is let the spices cook for a couple of minutes, one to two minutes, and then you can smell the heat and the aroma, the flavor coming out. And then we'll start adding the other ingredients. And now I'm going to add the vermicelli in. I'm going to throw that in, stir it around. You'll notice that the vermicelli changes color a little bit. When that happens, we're ready to add our rice into it. So the rice has been washed. I'm gonna put that in. Now we're gonna stir that around. Now I'm going to add some cracked black pepper. That's to taste. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt, again, to taste. And then this is when we start to add our chicken stock. Throw that through. And we're going to add water. And then we just mix it around gently. And now we're going to leave our rice to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes before we finish it off and add the lentils in. See the steam coming out? Now we're ready to add our lentils in. And put half of these in. What I like to do is get a fork and gently sort of toss the rice through with the lentils because the lentils are already cooked. The fork helps the rice to break up quite a bit. So we mix that through. Now that I've mixed that through, I'm gonna put the lid back on for another two to three minutes to just steam it together. Our rice is finally cooked and now it's time to plate up. There are two different ways to do this. I like to add the, the pasta in. You don't have to have pasta. You also don't have to layer the tomato sauce into the mix. You can keep tomato sauce separate. Everyone likes to eat differently. But I'm going to show you how I like to do it. So we have the rice, the vermicelli, and the green lentils. It's all beautifully cooked. You can see the steam coming out. So we're gonna start with the first layer. So we've got our lentils and rice in the bottom. I'm now going to get a few chickpeas. I'm going to scatter those in. Now we're going to put some, some of the macaroni on. Again, you can leave out the pasta. This is how I like to do it. You can also put the tomato sauce and this would be the time to put it before you start layering it up again. I'm going to leave it on the side because I prefer having sauce on the side. Other people prefer, prefer having sauce on the side. So we're gonna put another layer on top. I do like to leave things so that you can see the edges. You can see the pasta, you can see the chickpeas. I think for presentation, it looks lovely. A bit more macaroni on top.
And finally, to finish the kushri off, I'm going to use some for crispy fried onion. Sprinkle this on top. Put some coriander on top. And here we have it, the kushuri is ready. It's the perfect dish for Ramadan if you want to add some grilled chicken or some grilled meats with the tomato sauce on the side, it's absolutely beautiful. Please enjoy. Mm -hmm.